Good morning, guys. First of all, I'm already feeling so much better because I had my appointment this morning and I explained the nausea problems and she gave me a prescription for Zofran. I took one and for the first time since Thursday, I'm not nauseous. Now, I haven't eaten yet. That's going to be next. I actually haven't eaten for 24 hours because yesterday was the absolute worst. I basically could only tolerate ginger ale and water and anything else made me just want to lay and not move. Um, and like I didn't even have coffee, so it was bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so like I didn't even have coffee. So, um, <clears throat> but I explained to her, I was like, yeah, I just, I can't function with this. And so she gave me an, a prescription for Zofran and it worked its magic. I hate it because it, you have to like melt it under your tongue and it tastes like what I would imagine moldy fruity pebbles would taste like, but it works. And as long as it works, I'm fine because actually now that I'm not nauseous, I feel so much better. Um, I mean, I'm a little dizzy because I haven't eaten in 24 hours, but <laughs> I feel so much better. Um, my O2 was actually 99 this morning and my heart rate was at 83, so that was good. Um, <clears throat> she said my lungs sounded a whole lot clearer um, and that I was moving air really well, so that was also a plus. So I think the pneumonia is going away. Um, the only thing is I have lost quite a bit of weight. I've lost two pounds since leaving the hospital because that's when the nausea started and I've lost six pounds since I saw her back on January 2nd, so I really need to be able to eat and, and get stuff, you know, get calories in. Um, I got some more soup today, which is not very calorie high, but I'm also going to try to eat some pizza and see if that goes over well. Um, and just kind of play it. You know, my last day on the antibiotics is Saturday, so worst comes to worst. I'll have to eat soup and stuff till Saturday and um, then I can stuff in all the high calorie food I can possibly get. But, um, so... Overall, it was, a, it was a pretty positive appointment this morning. I mean, we went over like everything. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that was a little bit weird too was I did have some blood work taken that morning. I got discharged um, last Wednesday that didn't process in time. So she said, they said they would go through it today and everything looked good. Like she said, my kidney function was good. My liver function was good. My, um, my you know, white cell blood count had gone down, which is what you want. Um, but the other thing weird is she said I had a little bit elevated I forget what they were, it starts with an A something levels. And usually that happens if you have like a mildly allergic reaction to something. And I was like, I don't remember having an allergic reaction to anything. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe it was the tape that they were using to hold the IVs in place. Cause down here, I still have a little red mark where the IV was. And right here, I still have a little red mark where the IV was. And all the other spots where I got poked and prodded or just bruised or healed, I don't have any red marks. So. That's my best guess because I've had Zosin before. Now I've also never had vancomycin before, but I assume if I was like allergic allergic to it, something something more would have happened, um, you know, within that course of five days. So that will probably forever remain a mystery, but um, I wonder if that had something to do with the redness that was spreading on my arm. I'm thinking maybe I had some kind of allergy to the, to the tape they were using, which is weird because I've never had an allergy to Degaterm either, and I don't even know if that would show up in your blood or not, but I, that would probably forever remain a mystery, but it's not a big deal, you know, I'm breathing. I'm breathing, so that's all that matters. Um, so that was only kind of, kind of weird thing today, but um, <clears throat> overall, my temperature was normal. I haven't had a fever since last Sunday. They pretty much were knocked out after that first round of antibiotics at the ER. Um, and so I haven't had any fevers. Um, I did ask her about how my heart rate's been going up still when I'm walking. She thinks part of that is because I can't eat very much right now, which makes sense. She says dehydration and also just my body is still fighting, you know, with the antibiotics, I'm still fighting whatever pneumonia may be left. So she said that should start to just kind of taper off on its own. Um, so all's well, I guess, um, for the most part, you know, the side effects are kind of easing back a little bit. So hopefully I can eat and if I can eat, then everything should be hunky dory. Um, I have to get a follow-up chest x-ray <clears throat> in the second week of March just to make sure things are progressing like they should, but um, with the way I'm feeling, with my O2 being 99 and everything else, I think think maybe things can, can even out a little bit here. So I'm just glad to not be nauseous because guys, literally, I could barely even talk to the vlog yesterday. I was so nauseous. This morning, I was so nauseous. I couldn't even look at my phone. I couldn't. I just was like laying like this in the chair. 
so it feels amazing to be a human being again so hope you guys are having a good day as well and i'll see you guys in a little while hey guys i'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog here and just upload it because tonight i have a uh, hockey game that i'm gonna watch and um just kind of hang out for the rest of the night but i am just smiling I just ate two pieces of pizza and about 30 minutes ago and no nausea, nothing. And I cannot believe how bad those side effects were actually until they went away because I feel 10 million times better. I feel like a new person. Like, I feel good. So, um, so there's also a couple of exciting things coming up. Um, tomorrow's vlog should be a pretty fun one because tomorrow's going to be Panda's seventh birthday. He's gonna be seven years old. He's getting old, and I've got him. I got him some wet food today to surprise him with. I got a toy I've been hiding from him for a couple of weeks to surprise him with. Um, so tomorrow's vlog should be a pretty fun one. It's pretty much gonna be all about Panda. And um, and then next week, uh, a week from today, we're gonna go to the Florida State Fair, which I'll also vlog. And I'm super excited about that. It works out good. Originally, we were gonna go tomorrow, but one with these antibiotics, I can't be in the sunlight a lot, and two, we hadn't fixed the nausea at that point, so um, it just wasn't gonna work tomorrow, but we're gonna go next next Monday. I'll be off the antibiotics, because my last day is Saturday, and it should work, and I'm super excited because I've never been to a fair before, ever. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that as well, so I'll vlog that for you guys. Um, so there's some exciting things coming up, and maybe, knock on wood, <laughs> the um, health challenges that this year has been throwing at me are gonna subside a little bit now and just chill out, body. Let's just, let's just take a chill pill. So with that, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.